This is Music Corner Brev. I'm David Kulma. Can you hear the difference between a march and a waltz? One helps you stay in step during a parade. The other helps you dance with a partner. But what makes them different? We count march steps in two and waltz steps in three. We group our steps differently. We say they have different meters. But what if I told you that we might count a march in three or a waltz in two? Let's hear a couple of examples. Let's count Sousa's Liberty Bell March in two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's how we would count the steps. Now I'll count in three. Here's Tchaikovsky's Waltz of the Flowers. I'll count in three. Now I'll count in two. So how did I do that? The beat you step to is not the only pulse. When I counted the march in three, I was counting a faster pulse. And when I counted the waltz in two, I was counting a slower pulse. Meters are made up of multiple interlocking pulses that can mix and match pulses grouped in two and three on different levels. But what if I wanted them on the same level? Here's the backdrop to This is Prophetic from John Adams's Nixon in China. Do you hear it? The two pulses share a common slower pulse. The green meter fills this slower pulse with two counts, while the blue meter fills it with three counts. Two and three are in direct conflict with each other rather than working together. I told you all of this to introduce a music theory tool. It's called a ski hill graph. Richard Cohn created ski hill graphs to represent music with conflicting pulses. This single diamond graph for this Adams aria has four pulses. The note values on the top and bottom show the two shared pulses, the common slower pulse and an implied faster pulse. There are eighth notes later in the aria. Notice the lines connecting these two common pulses to the conflicting ones in the middle. The lines moving down to the left connect pulses related by two. The lines moving down to the right show pulses related by three. Notice that there is no line through the middle connecting the conflicting pulses. The dotted quarter on the left is the pulse for the green meter, and the quarter on the right is the pulse for the blue meter. The idea of the graph name is that, like a skier on a mountain, you start at the top of the diamond, and then ski down either marked path to the single bottom. While other examples ski each path at different times, like America from Bernstein's West Side Story, Adams instead chooses to go down both paths simultaneously. Let's hear the aria backdrop once more to see the pulses and the graph together. Ski hill graphs for simple hemiolas are only the beginning. With more diamonds, we can represent what Cohn calls complex hemiolas. Here's a little Brahms to send us out. A special thanks to Richard Cohn and Andrea Kalohana for their help and comments as I made this video. Have a happy new year, music nerds! I'll see you in February with new videos. And remember, everything we do is music. <laughs>